Alexander Nava. Welcome to my channel where we talk about all things photo and video related. Today we're going to show you how to properly store your photo and video files. Let's go ahead and get right into it guys. There are two major steps to ensuring that your files are stored properly. Redundancy and backups. Redundancy protects your files in case of a single or multiple hard drive failure. This can be achieved in various different ways. First, you can choose to install two drives onto your main computer. This is the most cost-effective way as it doesn't involve any additional hardware other than that extra drive. When you place a file onto the first drive, the computer will automatically clone that file onto the second drive, providing you peace of mind that if the first drive fails, you have a second copy right on your computer. Another popular method of redundancy is a NAS, or what's known as a Network Attached Storage. A NAS is a pricier option, but can come with some extra features, such as automatic backups, remote access, and increased redundancy. If a hard drive failure were to occur in your NAS, with most systems, you can pop out the old drive and put a new one back in, and it will automatically rebuild the volume. While all these methods that we talked about are great, they only protect against hard drive failure. This is where backups come in. A backup is a completely separate drive, including a copy of all your data, typically stored in another location. This can be done by purchasing an external drive or setting up an off-site server. The most cost-effective way to create an off-site backup is by purchasing an external drive. You would then copy your files onto the drive and store it at a family member's house or an office. By storing your data off-site, this ensures that your data is protected against disasters such as theft, fire, or floods. The downside to this method is that you will have to manually retrieve your drive, back it up manually, and then take your drive back to its desired location. The pricier option is setting up a NAS at another location and setting it to automatically back up remotely. Now you will need internet connections on both computers, but this option is by far the most streamlined. Once your files reach that outside location, you know your files are protected against theft, fire, floods, and other natural disasters. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to properly store your files. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you learned anything, please give this video a like, and go ahead and subscribe to catch our next video.